Good day, everyone. I am Omoto Show Abibola Messi, probably a 100 level biochem student from Kwara State College of Education, Uru. Saying the biggest thank you will not be enough to express my fondness for chemistry hangouts. It has really helped me for a whole lot of revelation in certain topics in chemistry. It helped me in understanding basic, intermediate, and advanced topics in chemistry all through my work and jam. So, do you have problem understanding certain topics in chemistry? Do you want all phobias for chemistry to fly away? Then the best channel is chemistry hangouts. So, subscribe to this channel and you say bye bye to. You're welcome to Chemistry Hangout. I want to believe we are fine today. Welcome to Chemistry Hangout. Before I start the, the lecture for today, in my last video, I actually congratulated the YX students for a job well done. Those results was wonderful. Why we anticipated patiently the results for the NECO student for this year. And the NECO result this year, some of those results have been sent to into my private inbox. It was wonderful. It was wonderful. So I want to say congratulations again to the NECO students all over the world. I love you guys. Well done. Those results was wonderful. And I am happy chemistry and gout has actually helped one again to pass one of the you know official exams, especially here in Nigeria. So I want to say congratulations to you guys. Well done. Don't stop studying. Don't relent. Okay. Keep studying. Keep visiting this channel. We are still going to be dropping some exciting videos that we are going to learn from. So well done. I want to say well done. And for today, I have not actually been dropping content, content for the JPEF students. Because this year, a whole lot of them reached out to me. I think some of them reached out to me around 48 hours or 24 hours before the exam and I was able to help in my own little way. But I promised them that immediately they are done with the exam, they should get the questions across to me so that I can do justice to it to serve as a reference for people that will be writing the Drupal exam next year. Okay, because those exams follow the same procedures and immediately you understand them, then you are good to go. So they have sent the question to me. So today I'll be solving the question but I will not be solving the question alone. I will be doing the practical like I'm a Jupiter student myself. Okay, we are not going to be getting value from anybody. We are going to do the practical. So the reagent they used on that day is available. I have gotten it. The reagent, the questions, everything is here. So I'm going to be doing the practical as if I am a Jupiter student and I'm actually carrying out the experiment on that day. You know, the reason why I love doing this is to build our confidence. Our confidence is very, very important because most of these exams, procedures will be given. So when procedures are given, you are supposed to be able to effortlessly do the practical and get your, you know, anything they want you to get and actually start your calculation. So I'm going to do the practical, you know, I'll do the practical like I am a Japan student and I'm sitting for that exam so that for people that wrote it this year, they will actually see where they made mistake and actually correct that for other exams. While for people next year, I'll be writing JPEG next year, they will also actually see what to fall back to that will serve as you know a kind of reference for them to know what the exam is to look like. And in fact, this video is coming at the, at the very right time because for people writing GC, I already dropped the video for you. Okay, that's number one question. How the question is going to look like. If you're writing GC and you have not watched that video, please go and watch it. And this one too will also, you know, it will open your horizon on the whole lot of ways titration questions can be given. So either way, any help is given, you should be able to solve it. And that's the reason for this very particular video. So you're welcome once again to Chemistry Hangout. If you are just watching this YouTube channel for the first time, click on the subscribe button, like the video, you know, comment, share the video. And for all other people too, that you have actually been a subscriber, I want to believe you are enjoying the exciting videos you have been dropping on the channel. So help, you know, share the video, invite a lot of people, send the link to them, because a whole lot of things is in stock for us. And chemistry and that will do nothing but the best. So welcome once again, guys. So let's see the Jupiter question for this year. Let's see the Jupiter question for this year. So I have the titration question for this year. You know the questions are two. One is titration, I think one is 
the qualitative analysis. I have, I have ordered for the sort for the qualitative analysis to still do it like I am a student and I'm writing that exam. So that you see, all these exams are not difficult as you know the, the student tends to make them look like. They are not difficult. When you follow the procedures, and I've told you, if you're writing any exam and any video is dropped on this channel, dutifully and carefully watch the video because it will go a long way to help you. Yes, dutifully and carefully watch the video. And I've said severally that the video we drop here, I am not saying this is the exact thing you will see on the day of the exam, but if you have carefully and dutifully watched the video here, then 60% of the questions are, you know, they will be easy for you and you are going to pass the exam excellently. So please, if you, have, if you have been missing the video on this channel, please don't actually miss those videos. They are videos that will help you, okay? So take time, make time to actually watch them and I know you will enjoy them. So let's see the question we have for today. That is the Japan 2022 chemistry question for this year. The question says, you are provided with the following solutions. A. XCL of unknown concentrations. B. 1.32 gram of sodium transcarbonate 4 in 250 centimeter cube. Okay. Indicator methyl orange. Can you see? That means you are giving this on that day. And I've provided all this for us. You can see this is the, the sodium carbonate that is there. This is the HCL that is there. This is the material range. All this will be given to you at your various center. Okay? All this will be provided. Yes, all this will be provided for you in your center. So, now the last one, the procedure. You can see, they are giving you the procedure. What to do? How to go about it? Pipette 25 centimeter cube portion of solution B. Of course, you should know that the B is the sodium carbonate, which is the, you know, that's the normal thing we do in titration because this is actually, you know, this an acid-based titration. So we have pipette 25 centimeter cube portion of solution B into a conical flux, add two or three drops of material. So let me start the, the procedure because of time. Let me start. So I'm pipetting this. You can see pipette 25 centimeter cube. This is my pipette 25 centimeter cube. So I'm pipetting 25 centimeter cube. Pipetting 25 centimeter cube of this. Okay, so gently, gently. Okay. You can see that 25 of these into my conical flags. Very simple. Very simple. Into my conical flags. As instructed in the procedure. Okay. All this will build your confidence. All this will build your confidence. Carefully done. Okay, let me take one. Okay. So, okay, I have. Then they say, add two, into the conical flux, add two or three drops of methyl orange, titrate against solution A, which means solution A is the one in the bread. So, my funnel is already here. I can feel. Okay. more than so I can just run run into it's very important don't be nice this please take your time for these things okay don't forget as you do that your table now my table now because I'll be recording that here let me use this my table now so this bullet readings a centimeter cube okay so this final reading is very important final readings initial readings all this will be recorded in your booklet i hope you are following carefully it's a table you should know that it's the table take your time please this is an exam take your time okay 
Then uh, we have Percy. They said, repeat the digestion two or three more times. You can see after the first one, after the first one, you have to repeat two or three more times. Meaning the whole practical, the whole digestion should be three or four. Because I've done one here, then he said, repeat it three, two or three times. Meaning the whole will be three times or max four. So I will be doing three. So it will be rough, which is the first one. That's the centimeter. If the answer should repeat either twice again or thrice, so I'm repeating twice. So I will have my first in centimeter cube, my second in centimeter cube. Can you see that now? So here we have the volume of acid used. Okay? I hope you are still following. So very very important. They are giving you your indicator. Let it be on your table. Very important. The indicator, yeah. The indicator is methyl orange. Okay. And look at this. They are giving you. They said pipette twenty five centimeter cube. They have specified twenty five centimeter portion of solution B. So the volume of our pipette that you will be giving is twenty five centimeter cube. So let it be recorded. Volume of pipette is 25 centimeters. I hope this is clear, very clear. So, I want to start titrating, remove your funnel, very important, so that it doesn't affect all this. He said we add two or three. So, I'm doing two, I'm doing two. So, this is one, and this is two. You can see. Change the color already. Can you see that to yellow? Okay, so let me start titrating. These things are not difficult, that's why I'm taking my time to, to do the practical gently. 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 Let me adjust this a bit. Okay. Can you see that now? You can see? Can you see? Yellow, then I'll take my readings. Okay. This is 24.90. I'm sure you should be able to do that. 24.90. You can see the color now. It's changed already. So this 24.90. So don't forget, let me see. Okay, sorry. Okay, okay. Four. Okay. This 25.10. 25.10. So the rough. So the, the rough initial readings before I started titrating. So it was zero. Was zero point zero zero. I hope this is clear. Let me use my clock. So this is zero point zero zero. Okay. The final read is now. That's twenty five point one zero. Can you see that now? That's the rough now. I take the second titration. Take the second titration. Take the second titration very fast. You don't need to waste your time. Taking the second titration now. Very important. So another 25, very fast. All these things should not take time. So build your confidence. Okay. Running it into your space. I hope you are still following. Okay. My two drops. One, two. You can see that now. Then I will feel very fast. You don't have time. You know, you are working with 
time, we have time. So I refill again. It's so my zero mark. Okay. I feel against my zero mark. So that my initial becomes zero again. Perfect. You can see that now. Start our titration again. Please take your time when you get here. You know, when you get here, you already know the range. So you don't need to be wasting your time. Okay, I already know the range already. So I can quickly run it into it. Because you don't have time. Then gradually, gradually. Gradually, when you begin to sense or see a color change, gradually run it. You can see as many bits gently, gently. Can you see that? You can see it's clearly done. So, okay, 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 it was, it was slightly, please, and allow you, 24, okay, from one to nine zero. my best now, 24.90, that's it, don't forget, I, I start from a zero, I refuse, so my initial will be zero point zero. Zero. Can you see that again? Then I take the third one very fast. I will refill again because the instruction says you repeat two or three times. Even after you have done the first one, you repeat twice or three times. So after I've done the first one, I'm repeating twice. Please follow the instructions. This is an external exam. Follow instructions, please. Very fast. Please always remove your funnel. Please, very important. Always remove your funnel, please. Always remove the phone. Very important. Okay? Then we go again. We go again. We go again. My pet 25 again. Please, I think the, that, that one, I didn't remove the funnel. That's a mistake. Please, always remove the funnel so that you don't actually get incorrect readings. You're just trying to rush up the practical. So, that. so, we have two. Again, remove the funnel, please. Very important. As I'm emphasizing on that. Always remove the funnel before you start. Okay? So I, I go again very fast. You know all this thing you are working with time. You don't have a whole lot of time because you are not doing one practical. Even in Wayak, even in Neko, in Jupiter, you are not doing one practical. So you have to be very fast. But nevertheless, you being very fast doesn't actually is a is not a yardstick for you to make unnecessary errors. So please take your time, but you have to be very careful. Okay. Gently, almost there. Can you see that? Perfect. Wow, perfect. 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 Wow, 24.90. Perfect, perfect. 24.90. So I have 24.90. Can you see that now? So we can now subtract 25.10. 24.90 Okay, so from there we are done with that. Okay, so we are done with this. Repeat the titration, we have done that. And find the average title value, which means the, the rough I got this, the first I got this. So I need to look for the mean. And if you look at this, it's a bit far from the first and second. So I I, I will not use the rough, I'll be using just these two because this looks very more you know accurate. So now average volume 
of acid used. So I have 24.90 plus 24.90 divided by 1 to 2. And that is definitely going to give us 24.90 cm. Very important, please, your unit. Very important. So, average tidal value. This is my average tidal value. Me meaning, the volume of acid, the average volume of acid that neutralizes this very particular reaction is what? Is 24.97%. Okay, let's move on. B Roman figure one. Very important. The numbers are important too, please. The numbers are important. Make sure you are num. You are numbering it the way they numbered it in the question. Okay, so the numbers are important. So they said write a balanced equation for the reaction. What's the reaction? ACL and sodium carbonate. Find that. So the equation. Now the equation of reaction. The equation of reaction. We have HCl plus. Very important sodium carbonate. Sodium carbonate going to NaCl plus H2SO2. So don't forget the ACL is in the solution form. Don't forget that's the aqueous form. This one is in the aqueous form. Okay? So we have this, and this, and this. So very important, look at the equation, is the equation balanced? Please, is the equation balanced? We have how many hydrogen in here? One, we have two here. So I can balance this, please. Very important. So meaning we have two hydrogen here, we have two hydrogen here, balance. We have two chlorine here, we have one here. So we can balance this. Take your time, please. So let's check it here. We have two hydrogen, we have two hydrogen here, balance, two chlorine, two chlorine, balance. Two sodium, two sodium balance, one carbon, one carbon balance, three oxygen, one plus two. That's the correct. Please take your time. Okay. Write the balance equation for the reaction. Correct. Now they said which two processes have occurred in one A above. Can you see that? Where is one A? When you you are actually doing the titration, what are two processes that have occurred? Number one, you should know this is a neutralization reaction. Definitely, because you saw that. When I was titrating, when it got to a particular volume, the, the solution here, which was initially yellow, changed. Definitely, neutralization has occurred. So, one of the process that occurred is number one, neutralization occurred. Yes, neutralization occurred. Okay. What other process occurred during the reaction? Of course, ionization occurred. I want to believe we know what ionization is. Ionization of coal. Yeah. Ionization of coal. Ionization of coal. What do you mean of ionization? Look at this. They begin to exchange their ions. Look at this. We have HCl here before. Look at something. You have X, something like this. Cl minus. Can you see that now? So you have. Na to CO3. Can you see? On the product side, now what do you have? You have this now reacting together with this. Can you see that now? So they are accepting electron, they are what giving out electron, they are set electron. So ionization has actually occurred. So neutralization occurred, ionization occurred because there is exchange of electron. Somebody collects, somebody gives. Do you get that? So ionization has occurred. That's that for this measure two processes that have occurred in one day ago. So neutralization has occurred, ionization has occurred. Very, very simple. So the CI now, the CI now, they said the number of moles present in 25 centimeter cube of solution B, please, you need to pay maximum attention to this place. The number of moles, let me use my, so that this doesn't confuse you, let me still use my black marker so that I don't look so different you know okay so the number of moles present in 25 centimeter cube of solution B let's go to solution B this is it so we need the number of moles present in 25 please get all these things present in 25 now the initially 
The bill they gave us is 1.32 gram of sodium carbonate in 250 centimeter key. I have said that severally on this channel. If you have been watching my practical videos, that the standard measurement in chemistry lab is 1,000 centimeter key. So when you see something like this, it is very important to convert. Because what they will be asking you is that, what is, what is this in a mole per dm cube? Mole per dm cube, meaning one dm cube. And this is 25, 250 centimeter cube. So it is very important that this is converted to 1,000 centimeter cube. Then you can now answer the question that they are asking. I hope that is clear. So from there now, I come and say 1.32 gram in 250 centimeter cube. Okay, 1,000 centimeter cube will be what will be x can we see that now so from here making x the subject i'm going to have x equals 1.32 times 1000 over 250 i hope we are, we are clear so x becomes let me use my calculator so 1.32 times 1000 divide 250 then I have 5.28, 5.28 gram now, you know, per DMQ. Why is it per DMQ? Because we have converted to 1,000 centimeter cube. But 1,000 centimeter cube is the same thing as what? 1 DMQ. Can you see that now? So this is the mass concentration of B now. So it shall be the mass concentration of B is this now. Very important. Now, the next thing here, they say, the question is, the the number of moles present in 25 centimeter cube of solution B. And if you look at solution B, what they gave us is this, and we have gotten the mass concentration. So how do I look for the number of moles? I can say my number of moles is equal to the concentration of solution B times volume over 1,000. Number of moles is equal to concentration of solution B times volume over what 1000. Now, what is the concentration of B? We can get that now because we have the mass concentration already. So I can say mole is equal to, I want to get the concentration of B now, mass over molar mass. Okay? So from here, I want to get the mole now. It becomes my mass concentration is this we have gotten that already gram per d m cube i hope you are following the molar mass now molar mass of b that's n a to c o 3 the atomic masses are given already here look at it they have given us already you can see they have given us already so this becomes 23 times 2 plus 12 plus 16 times 3 and that will be 46 plus 12 plus 48 so that will be 106 gram per mole. If I do the calculation, that will be best confirm. Well, we should be right. We should have 46 plus 12 plus 48. Okay, I'm correct. 106 gram per mole. Please, very important the unit. Now, so the, the concentration now, which is this, will now be the concentration, which is the mole, will now be what? Will be 5.28 divided 106 gram per mole. This gram per dmq. So the mole becomes what? 5.28 divided 106. That's giving us 0. Point, that's giving us 0. 0.0498. 0. 0.0 498 so uh, we are taking to three decimals so that would be five zero mole per dm please that's why it is prepared you can see you have to be very careful of what you are actually solving we are not done here now if you look at this look at this is 0 0.050 mole per dm cube meaning this concentration is in one dm cube because you know we have converted from the beginning already but now the question says look at the question the number of more present in what? 25. This one is in 1000. So we need it in 25. That's why I'm bringing this before. So concentration, which is this, the volume now. 
that they now ask us to calculate, which is what? 25 over 1,000. I'm still saying the same thing. If you don't know this formula, it's still the same thing. I can say the mole is, you know, I can say is 0. Point, let's assume you don't know this formula. I can say 0. Point, 0 0.050 is in what? Is in 1,000 centimeter cube. Do you get that now? 25, the actually of 25, not 1,000. So it will be 25 centimeter cube will be what? Will be x. Do you get so Even if you don't know this, if you understand the procedures, you know, this one is in 1,000 centimeter cube, which is the same thing as 1 dm cube. But now, the question is saying in 25. So I can do this. So if I do this, you can see it will be x equals 0 0.050 times 25 over 1,000. That's what we brought this formula for. So concentration, 0 0.050, can you see that? Times volume that they're asking us in the question 25 over 1,000. So some people might be saying, sir, then you don't bring this formula from, it's still from this logic, that this is in 1,025 over So I can just say 0 0.050, okay? 0 0.050 moles is in 1,000, Centimeter cube. Guys, that so 25 centimeter cube will be what will be x. So we are still saying the same thing. So if you don't know this from this ratio, when I cross multiply, I will have x equals 0 0.050 times 25 over 1. Uh, and that's where this formula came from. I hope that is clear. So some of some people might wonder, so where did you get this formula from? I don't know this formula, it's still from this logic. Okay. So from there, our x becomes you are solving number one. That's why you have to take your time. That's why I'm taking my time to solve it so that it can serve as a reference for others to the 0 0.050 times 25. Okay, divide 1000. That's I have 0. 0, 0, 1, 2, 5 I hope you are clear. 0 0.00125 moves. I hope that is clear. I hope, that, I hope this is clear. So this is just the number one question. Sort it. Check them. Please go over the videos over and over again so that you can get that. So very quickly now, the molarity of solution A. Look at A, they didn't even give you anything about A. You can see, they didn't give you anything about A. So how do we go that? Go about that. We can use our titration formula, using our titration formula. We can use our titration formula. Okay, and that will be for Roman figure two. And that's C A B A over C B B B equals N A over N B. If you have been watching this channel, you should be used to you should be used to to this video. If you have been watching my channel, you be used to this very particular formula. Okay, so from there, the clean up this to this place. Take now. We have done to this place. Okay, so. Now using that, what is our CA? That's concentration of acid. What is our concentration of acid? That's what we are looking for. Because it's a molarity of solution A. Now don't forget A is our acid now. So concentration of A, that's what we are looking for. Our CB, what is our concentration of B? Is given already. You can see our concentration, the B concentration, we have solved that already. This is it. Zero. 0 0.050 mole per dmq. Okay. Then we have our C, our VA, which is our title value. Our VA, that's our average volume of acid. You can see that 24.90 centimeter cube. Okay. Then what other thing do we need? Our VB is already a volume of pipette that's 25. Past 25 centimeter cheap. Okay, our number, our NA, that's number of moles of acid. That's why your equation is important. Look at it. Two to one. So our ACL is two. Our sodium carbonate is one. So our NA is two 
and around n e is equal to one. So we can slot that in that formula. So our C A times what is our V A already here? C A that's twenty four point nine zero over C B that is zero point zero five zero times V B that's twenty five equals to our number of acid, number of moles of acid times two over one. Now, I know some people will be asking this question. Sir, you, you are using the 0 0.050, sir. Why didn't you use this one? You know this is for, 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 for B2. This is for B. So, like, uh, sir, why didn't you use this one? I cannot use this one because the solution we prepared was in one DMQ. They, they were specifically asking of 25 years. That's why I now have to calculate for 25 for them. Do you get that? But this solution that is prepared is, is always in one DMP. So that's why I'm not using this value. They specifically asked for this, which is this. That's the reason why we have to actually went this far to calculate this for them. So please, don't actually do this. So from there, we cross multiply. We make CA our subject. Let's make CA our subject. So from here, we are going to have C A to be equal to 2 times 0 0.050 times 25 over 24.901. Okay, cross multiply this times this times this over this. So let's have a calculator. Very important. So our C A becomes 2 times 0 0.050 times 25. Divide 24.90. That's 0 0.100. So our C A, sir. So our C A is 0 0.1003. That's my place. One percent. So Can you see that now? So The third one now, okay. The third one now. They said the mass of sodium chloride produced in the reaction. Please take note. The mass of sodium chloride produced in the reaction. Now, if you check the question, if you check the question, but without putting the question, you see they didn't give us anything about sodium chloride. What they gave us was unknown concentration of solution A, which is HCl, and they gave us a particular concentration in 250 of B. We are not actually giving any information about B uh, about sodium chloride, and that's the reason. If you have checked my last video, if you check my last video, I, I explained something with cost stoichiometry. You know, I still promise to do a video on that. That's a topic in chemistry on its own. So I'm still going to do a topic on stoichiometry on its own. But I actually explain what stoichiometry is in that very particular video because there is a question too there that relates to stoichiometry, and we are seeing it again. That means you need to take cognizance of all these things. So now look at the question of reaction. HCl plus this giving us this, this, this. Can you see that now? If you look at this now, sodium chloride is coming as the product of this reaction. And that will only be seen in the equation of reaction. Which means, if you are wrong in the equation of reaction, they ask you to write, you will be wrong with this. So all these things, you have to carefully and beautifully do them. Now look at this. So for me to do anything on sodium chloride, I, I only get it from the equation of reaction. I hope that is clear. Now look at this. Sodium chloride, sodium carbonate. Can you see the relationship? Sodium carbonate, sodium chloride. Can you see that now? So, which means from the equation of reaction now, one mole of sodium carbonate, okay, liberated two moles of sodium chloride. Very easy. Okay, so I can now say from the equation of reaction. From the equation of reaction, one mole of sodium carbonate liberated two moles of sodium chloride. Very important. Can you see that now? One mole of sodium carbonate liberated two moles of sodium chloride. So I cannot get for sodium chloride because I already know the mole. Do you see the first question? 
the number of more present in 25 centimeter key. Do you still remember that the volume of pipettes we used is always 25? Out of the solution we prepared, we were only using 25 centimeter cube of the B. Can you see that now? So, very, very important now. I have gotten the number of moles of my B, which is sodium carbonate that reacted, which is this. So, if I say one mole of sodium carbonate liberated two moles of sodium chloride, it means that it's zero. It means that. 0 0.00125 mole of this will liberate x of this. Very easy. From the equation, one mole of this gave two mole of this. So 0 0.00125 mole of sodium chloride. Do you remember that this is of mole of sodium of sodium carbonate? Do you remember that this one was what we got of sodium? Carbonate, which is number of present in 25 center of solution B. So B is the sodium carbonate now. So from here, I can have this multiply and say x times 1 will be x, okay? 0 0.00125 times 2. Can you see that now? So let's, let's see. 0 0.00125 times 2. That's giving us 0 0.0025 moles. That's giving us 0 0.0025 moles. I hope we are clear. Now, this is not the answer. Please pay attention to this. Look at what they asked you to calculate. The what? Mass. They didn't ask you for mole. But the reason why I'm getting the mole first is because, do you remember our formula? Mole is equal to mass over molar mass. Can you see that? So, before I don't have the mole of NACL. So, I have gotten the mole now, which is this. Can you see that now? What do I need to get now? The mass is not in the question. So, I, and I can get the molar mass of NACL. Why? Because I've given you sodium here in the question 23. They have given you chlorine here in the question 35. 35. Can you see that? So, now. I can rub this off. I can rub this off now. Let me change my marker. I can rub this off to now say, okay, the, the mass of sodium chloride produced now. That's what I want to get here. So that would be mole equals mass over what? Over molar mass. So what is our mole now? We have gotten our mole 0 0.0025 0 .0 moles. Okay? 0 0.025 moles. What is our molar mass? What is our molar mass? That would be NACL. And that would be 1, that would be 23. I've given us that in the question. I've brought it up, but they have given us this 23 plus 35.5, and that was 58. Are we correct? That was 58.5 gram per mole. Those units are very important. So the mass now, mass of NACL that we produce now, you know, is 0 0.0025, that's this, times 58.5. That is that. So from here, let's go times 58.5 and that's giving us 0 0.14625 so that's giving us the mass of NACL produced produced is equal to 0 0.14625 that's that. 0 0.14625 gram. Okay? 0 0.14. Why the last question? I brought it up. The last question is now telling us the volume of CO2 produced at STP. The volume of CO2. The volume of this one produced at STP. Very, very important. Now, who will produce STP? Of course, it is our NA2 CO3 that will liberate CO2. Very important. So I've still used this documentary. Did they give you anything in the question as you got CO2? No. So you are still applying the same method. So which is the last one now? 
the volume of CO2 produced. I think I even did something like this in my last video for the GC student. So the volume, the volume of CO2 produced. Now let's go back to the equation. What's the equation? One mole, one mole. Now can you see that now? Very important. Our equation of reaction is a powerful tool in digestion. One mole of this is giving us one mole of this. So volume of CO2 produced, I can say from the equation of reaction, okay? One mole of Na2CO3 is equal to one mole of CO2. Can you see that now? We are, we are repeating the same process, if you really understand. So one mole of Na2CO3 produce one mole of CO2. So 0 0.0, 0 0.00125 mole will produce what? 0 0.0125 mole, because they are one, one mole. So one mole of this produce one mole of this. So 0 0.00125 mole of this. We will be equal to what again? 0 0.00125 moles of CO2. Can you see? Because from the equation of reaction, one mole will give us one mole. So 0 0.0125 mole will give us 0 0.0125 mole. Okay, but they said at STP because they gave you molar volume in the question. They gave you molar volume in the question. That's 22.4 the MTB is given in the question. That's why if you are actually watching this video, the question, try and write the question down. Okay, write the question down so that as I begin to solve, you check the question because I don't have enough space. I have to rub off some those questions. So, but immediately you start watching okay you just write those questions down or you you, you rewatch you replay it to get those questions write them down then you'll be checking the solutions and the questions okay so one mole of this gave one mole of this 0 0.25 we have to give this so and we know that one mole of a gas one mole of any gas as if one mole of co2 is equal to 22.4 dm if i know i i want to be able to do this one mole of any gas at STP is this. Do you get that now? One mole of any gas at STP is this. So, and um, if, if we know that one mole of any gas at STP is this, but are we not adding up to one mole of CO2? No, what is the mole of CO2 we have, guys? So, one mole of CO2 is 22.4 dm cube, but we don't have up to one mole. We have this mole. So, let's look for what the, 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 the volume will be. So, we have 0 0.00. 1, 2, 5. Now, simply put it up. Very simple. Very simple. So, we cross multiply now. S times 1 will give us that. We have 0 0.00125 times 22.4. So, let's see. 0 0.00125 times 22.4. And that will give us what? 0 0.28. Can you see that? 0 0.28. Very, very important. It's 0 0.28. I hope we, we understand this. It's 0 0.0125. You're already getting it from here. It's 0 0.00125. It's from here already. Okay. And we are doing stoichiometry. One mole of this is giving one mole of this. So if one mole of Na2CO3 is giving one mole of CO2, then it's 0 0.00125 mole of Na2CO3 will still give 0 0.00125 mole of CO2. I think that is very, very clear. So from there, now one mole of CO2. Is equal to 22.4 dm because in the question they have even given you this, which is the molar volume. So if one mole of CO2 is equal to 22.4 dm, is 0 0.00125 times this now. That's what I'm doing. So 0 0.00125, 0 0.00125 times 22.4. Okay, 0 0.0028, 0 0.0028. So we have our x equals to 0. 0, 0 0.028. What's the unit? You can see DNQ definitely the unknown to the world. DNQ of C O2. That is that. Very clear. So please go over the question. That's why it is prepared. So for next year, you know, the reason why this will really help for next year. Other JPEG students can actually watch this and see how the question, you know, always look like. Can, they will just use this as a revision. And for you that have written JPEG again, you can see some of your mistakes. Okay? You can actually see some of your mistakes. It will help you 
even when you get to tertiary institution, not to make the same mistakes. And for GCE students, you can see how technical titration questions can be again. So if you watch this again, you will see how technical it can be and how to go about it. So thank you for having me again today. Please, if you are just watching this YouTube channel for the first time, please subscribe to the channel, share the video, comment, like the video, okay? And I'm, I always say it on this channel, we are always wanting to give the best and we will we'll give nothing but the best. This chemistry hangout, okay, we are done with what we have for us for today. But please, if you have any difficulty in any topics, you can still suggest it in the comment box section. I think somebody suggested electrochemistry, I'm still piling up my content on that. But if you know there is a particular topic you have been finding difficult, okay, you are not actually getting them, suggest them in the comment box section. I have compiled some. Yes, I've compiled some so that I can add as many topics that you are finding difficult so that we can explain it explicitly here on this channel. So, thank you very much. Please go over this video over and over again. Watch it. Meditate on it. Try to solve questions on your own, okay? Try to solve questions on your own. If you have any questions, my number is on some of the videos I have dropped. You can message me for clarification. So, thank you. God bless you.